I'm gonna show you how I do a daily calendar, basically a daily planner for optimum productivity. This is efficiency and organization where, where we talk a lot about things that have to do with being organized, being well-planned, being very efficient to be able to accomplish a lot in our daily lives. So I am going to begin this video with my to-do list. Okay, I'm gonna walk you through the process that I use for prioritizing effectively and for getting a lot done, being super productive through daily planning. So I am planning for tomorrow and tomorrow is March 24th. So I'm gonna write the day is March 24th. And this to-do list you can get from uh, I'm going to have the link in the description of the video. Now I have all the things that I want to do. If you notice, I break things down. So like the larger tasks, I break into smaller units. So for example, I have here record one video, but there's also editing and releasing. So edit and release video. I'll put separately because recording a video takes a while. Editing and releasing takes a while. So I'm going to separate those here. I'm just writing all the things that are coming to my mind that I need to get done. Okay, so now that I have like a list of all the things I want to do, I am going to put priorities next to each and I will put either an H, an M or an L, which means high priority, medium priority, low priority, but make the ones that are least desirable. So like the things that I want to knock out as early as possible, I will put an H here in this column. And the ones that I don't like doing, I'll also put an H next in that column, okay? And now that that's done, here's my high priority things. Maybe what I could do is highlight them. That way I know that those are the ones I need to give full focus right here. I'll just come here and I'll highlight them. And this form, again, like I said, you can download. I will have the link for you in the description of the video. And it's just a simple word document, you guys. That's all it is. It's just a simple word document. And I just put a table. And so you can make this on your own. You don't have to get the one that I have. You make your own. You can even use notebook paper if you want. You don't have to have, have it done on the computer per se. You can use your phone to make something like this. So now we're going to talk about the time, okay? Like basically when during the day I want to get some of these things done. This is where a lot of like my thinking goes. Which ones do I do first? Which ones do I do second? Okay, so here I put the times in blocks because here's the truth. I don't know how long it'll realistically take me to go get groceries. So where I, I go to like two stores typically, and I don't know as far as traffic goes, how long it'll take, for instance. So that's why I'm just saying that that's going to be like the 10 a.m. block. So I'm giving for each of these blocks that you see, it's one hour. So I'm hoping between 10 and 11, I'm able to get all my groceries done, all the grocery shopping. Now, if I happen to come home at 10, 15, and that, I mean 11, 15, and that goes in this block, then it's okay. Uh, it is what it is. I took some of the time from the cleaning downstairs part, right? But at some point I try to catch up. So I have 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock here. It's not going to make take me an hour to make lunch. It's only probably going to take between making it and eating it and cleaning afterwards. It's all probably going to be 45 minutes. So in case right here or right here, I lost 15 minutes, it's okay. I can always make up in this time block. So that's the beauty of this. When you work on blocking, like time blocking, you always have some padding involved. Now, let's say for the, let's go and look at this one, for example, it says edit and release video. Okay, so for this particular one, I'm not gonna need an entire hour. Again, it's only probably gonna be 40 minutes. So if I have 20 minutes left, I'm either gonna use that time to relax I'm going to use that time to possibly do one of these M tasks, the medium uh, priority tasks, like something like this, a Pinterest board update that takes me 10 minutes. So if I have time in this block, I'll use it for that. Okay. So uh, the last thing I have here, the last time block will be this, which is the 3 p.m. block for exercise. That usually takes me an hour to an hour and a half. So if I finish before five, great. The rest of the evening is mine to enjoy as I wish. Because like I said, tomorrow is Sunday and I like to 
give myself time to rest and unwind on Sunday nights. I try not to work on Sunday night on anything other than just, you know, getting ready for the week ahead. I hope you found the video helpful. And if you did, that's awesome. Please subscribe. Please like the video, share it with others, and I will catch you in the next one.